<laughs> Welcome everyone to the first part of the Madden 24 Steelers miniseries. Now this is going to be the first episode of a very, very long trend of games, because I'm going to do this on Madden 24, then I'll go back to Madden 25, then 16, 17, and so on to 20, and then just keep going between 25 to 20 over and over again. But pretty much the premise of this works, as you can see, we are in the playoffs, because I have drafted a team, and I've simmed all the way to the end of the season, we were able to go 14-3, and three. and from here I'm just going to play the playoffs, every game is big stakes, it actually allows me to enjoy playing the game for once. So the team that I drafted, I'm going to give myself some credit, is very, very balanced, very good. Dak Prescott is our quarterback, who has obviously shot up in overall over the course of the season. Running backs, Christian McCaffrey would be our starter, but he's currently hurt. Backup is Cordero Patterson. Wide receivers, we've got DeAndre Hopkins, Adam Thielen, MVS, Randall Cobb, Cole Beasley, D Darius Davis. I mean, very good. They're all specialists, honestly, like. Dodger Hopkins, I'm only going to throw deep balls too. Same for MVS. And the rest of them are all slot receivers. Nice, you know, rack type of guys. We've got Kyle Juszczyk in as our fullback. And obviously the biggest weapon on this team is, of course, Travis Kelsey at the tight end one position. Taysom Hill at tight end two. Jimmy Graham at tight end three. Really, really strong group of tight ends, which anytime I actually try to operate an efficient offense, I always just end up throwing checkdowns to my tight end. So having good guys there will definitely help us. Offensive line, Deion Dawkins, Andrew Norwell, Mitch Morris, Graham Glasnow, and Dewan Jones. Very solid starting five for the offensive line. Really just a good overall offense. Defense, we have Fletcher Cox, recently retired, Randy Gregory, and Leonard Floyd on the D-line. Linebackers, Matt Milano, Frankie Louvu, Bobby Wagner, Jadavion Clowney. I really kind of set this up so that Gregory or Floyd will move in as like a D tackle and Clowney will move down to a, you know, an edge rusher whenever we get in these dime and nickel sets. And then have Wagner, Luvu, and Milano. It's just kind of our some good all round linebackers. Corners. Ah, oh, for I forget his first name. We got Williams, uh, Steven Nelson, Patrick Peterson, Chris Harris Jr., Janoris Jenkins, Malik Hooker, and Jordan Poyers are safeties. Cream Jackson is my third safety. A very The way I have this defense imagined, I've I've made it perfectly the way that I think it should work. Now, if it ever works out that way, we'll honestly never know. Kickers and punters, Adam Cole as no AJ Cole as our punter, Justin Tucker as our kicker, Darius Davis as our returner. So yeah, like I said, Jadavion Clowney is one of the edge rushers. Leonard Floyd on the other side. I might move Gregory in that D tackle, but I'm, he's a little bit smaller, so I don't exactly know. And obviously Matt Milano, sub-linebacker, Thielen in the slot. And Ju Juszczyk, because McCaffrey is currently hurt, is our third down back. And Latavius Murray is our full-time power back. Like I said, thankfully it works out. Christian McCaffrey and Cordero Patterson both only one week injuries. Which, McCaffrey's is a partial ACL tear, so that definitely means we he was hurt for many weeks of the season. And we still went 14-3, which makes me wonder if he didn't get hurt, because I'm assuming it was like a 5-6 week injury. We might have actually gone undefeated, but in this f a week has progressed, and we have now been drawn up against the Colts, who beat the Buffalo Bills, who were two games behind us. They beat them 17-10, so this Colts team must have a very good defense, but numbers-wise, they don't really. I mean, overall-wise, and this is their kind of like point, points per game, yards per game rank. Like, I really don't know, like the Bills starting quarterback must have gotten hurt. That's the only reason I can think that this happened. And their team, they got some pretty good players. I mean, obviously, Zach Martin, amazing offensive lineman. Lattimore at corner, Terry McLaurin, Pacheco, Rousseau, Ingram, Harrison Smith. Kirk Cousins at quarterback, so at least we don't have to worry about the mobile threat there. Eddie Jackson, Josh Sweat, James Bradbury, Turner, Gordon, Cook. So, obviously, they have a very good defense. So, that kind of plays right into our hands with how good of our offense is. But... It's a divisional round game. Only three overall in in difference. A lot of stuff still could happen. Hopefully, nothing crazy happens. And here are the highlights.
Tucker on the field goal. A 25 yard attempt. So we went on to win the game 38-22, to pretty good game all around. Yardage-wise, we almost outgained them by 200. That was just because we had such a good rushing offense. Definitely helped us there. Dak Prescott, 22 for 29, 283 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Trace McSorley, 2 for 4, 23 yards and a pick. Running-wise, Dak Prescott, 6 carries, 59 yards and a touchdown. McSorley, 3 carries for 51 and Latavius Murray with a true power back stat line of two carries, five yards, and a touchdown. Receiving-wise, Travis Kelsey obviously got the most yards with 57, but Christian McCaffrey got a touchdown out of the backfield. MVS got a touchdown. So, we're you know, definitely spreading the wealth there. Also had two pancakes from Norwell and Jones, and then Morse and Dawkins also picked up one. Total tackles for Steven Nelson. He had six leading the team. Sack-wise, Randy Gregory was the only person on the team with a sack. Two interceptions for Chris Harris Jr., one for Nelson, one for Williams. Very, very good performance from our top three corners. And Justin Tucker was perfect as usual. And Cordell Patterson chipped in with a nice kick return touchdown. And next round, we're facing the six-seed Bengals. So we are just facing underdog after underdog. But looking at it, they have a very good offense, a very horrible defense. Honestly, that I'm 
completely okay with that because we are certainly an offensively based team. So I'm okay with it just being a total offensive slug out. Hopefully that is what happens and we can get the edge on them. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe if you did. And I'll see you all in, episode, in part two.